Assalamualaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'll bring you a dish that is really good, especially in the winter times. Well, you can have it any time you, you like, but it's mostly you know, like winter dish. It's going to be a halwa called makhandi halwa. So for that I've got one cup of semolina there. I'm going to add one cup of milk and another cup. So I'm using this cup as a measurement. If you want to make slightly less, you can use a smaller cup, but the measurements are going to be one cup semolina to two cups of milk. So I'm just going to mix that. Make sure there's no dry semolina left. And that's it, we'll let, let that sit on the side. And we go to the... I've got some butter that's been melting on a low heat. This is the same amount of butter to semolina, one cup. It's the same cup measurement and same cup measurement of, of sugar, one cup. So I'm gonna put that with this. I'm gonna turn it on a high heat and just mix this. We're going to cook this until it's like a golden color. So we're making a caramel out of this. So make sure you keep on stirring. Don't just leave it here and just go somewhere else. Because it will start burning quickly. So just keep on stirring all the time. As you know, sugar burns very quickly. So I'm going to stir this and mix and stir this until it's nice and golden brown. Then I'll show you how it looks. Halfway through the cooking process, it looks something like this, as you can see. All the sugar has melted nicely. And now I'm going to cook this until it's nice and golden brown color. Now that's what gives the color to the halwa. So I'm just going to keep on stirring this. Make sure you don't leave it and go anywhere because it will, it will burn very quickly. So keep on moving it, stirring it around, and then I'll show you when it's nearly done. As you can see, it's going slightly golden brown now. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of crushed up green car uh, cardamoms. And just give it a good stir. That gives it a beautiful aroma. As you can see, it's going brown. So this will happen very quickly. Make sure you keep on stirring, stirring, stirring because you want it to cook evenly. Just mix all around so it all goes to a nice golden brown color. You want it to go proper nutty brown because that will go, give a nice brown color to the halwa. So keep on moving it around, stirring non-stop. This is a crucial part now, guys. Keep on stirring, stirring, stirring. As you can see, it's on a beautiful brown color. We want it much darker than this, so keep on stirring. Now, you're gonna start getting big bubbles. We're gonna cook it until the bubble goes small. So keep on stirring it. I'm just gonna turn the gas to a medium high. Keep on stirring. Look guys, that looks fine now. Just turn the gas to proper low heat now. And I'm going to add this mixture and be really careful because it's going to splatter. Put all the milk and the semolina in, as you see, how it bubbles up. So that's what I was trying to say to you, just really be careful. Add everything in. And that's it guys. Put the gas on high and make sure you give a proper stir because 
the caramel will start hardening up but don't worry it'll start to come nicely into a smooth paste because the milk is cold and the sugar syrup was quite proper hot keep on mixing and pressing down like this it will work Keep on stirring and pressing this down. As you can see, it's gone slightly clumpy, but keep on pressing it because the sugar's just hardened. So keep on doing this, guys. Then I'll show you after five to ten minutes. As you can see, guys, the sugar has melted nicely. And now is the most difficult part. You have to keep on mixing this until all the liquid has dried up and the butters come out of the halwa. And it'll go to a grainy consistency that then when it's fully cooked. So keep on stirring it because it sticks to the pan very quickly and you don't want it to burn. So we'll keep on mixing. This is gonna take a bit of time. Then the other halwas, this is the halwa that just takes a bit of effort. At the moment the suji doesn't smell if it's cooked, and when it's fully cooked, the aroma will change completely. So keep on stirring until all the butter has released from the halwa, and then that'll be fully cooked. So I'm gonna keep on cooking this, guys, and then I'll show you halfway. Now, as you can see, it's starting to come around to the consistency we want. As you see, it's going brown. We want it all brown like this. So, still keep on stirring it. I did add, add a tiny bit more butter because it seemed a bit less. You can make this in ghee oil. It's totally up to you. As you can see, this is how we want it. And make sure you just stir it and bring the bottom bit up so it doesn't burn. I'll just turn the heat down to a medium low. Keep on stirring. A good workout for your arms. Keep on stirring it. Because we just want all this to go grainy. So, so I'll keep on cooking this and then I'll show you when it's nearly there. As you can see guys, look how different it looks now and the butter's coming out. Still he hasn't cooked fully. I'm just gonna show you some uh, nuts I've cut. There's some uh, coconut, there's cashew nuts, there's almonds and pistachio. You could use any nuts you would like. I'm gonna put half of this here and leave some for the for the for the garnish. See guys, it looks completely different the way we started. You think it's never gonna come to this stage, but it just takes a tiny bit of time. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Still cooking it until all the butter has released. And that's gonna take another five, six minutes. So I'll show you when it's completely done. Guys, as you can see, this is completely cooked and all the butters come out. Guys, you can see how it looks now. So I'm going to serve this up and show you how it looks. Guys, here's our makandi halwa. That's ready. 